Hi, Odyssey fans. I'm Bob, producer of the Adventures in Odyssey Club. And I'm Jesse, editor of Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine. <laughs> and welcome to our living room. That's right. And by living room, we mean a conference room at Focus on the Family that looks like a living room. Right, and yeah. this is just one of several living rooms here at Focus. Right, and being a family ministry, we never want our employees to be too far away from a living room. So we have several living rooms close by for easy access. Yeah. yeah. So many important family occasions happen in the living room. So I think it's good that we have a few around here. Yeah, you know, but personally I think we need a few more you know, kitchens in the building so maybe we can stand around and we can eat, we can write at the same time. You know, now, now that that would be a great work environment. Uh, count me in. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of living rooms and family, <laughs> we recently had an episode that featured a lot of time in the Parker home. That's right. That show was called The Sandwich Initiative, and it featured David going to some extreme measures to get his kids to take initiative and clean up a sandwich in the backyard, right? <laughs> the episode was written by Marshall Younger, who took some extreme measures of his own when trying to teach his daughter a lesson years ago. Let's have Marshall tell us about the unusual story that inspired this adventure. So about 20 years ago, my oldest daughter, Bryn, was three years old. And uh, one morning I brought her her breakfast and it was just her, her regular breakfast. It was, you know, it was a banana and some cereal. But she decided that day that she wasn't gonna eat it. She was being stubborn and I knew she was being stubborn. So I said to her, um, no, you're gonna eat this and you're gonna sit there at the table until it's over, until it's done. And uh, I, I, looking back on it, I probably shouldn't have said that because once you say that as a parent, you kind of can't go back on it. Uh, you know, once, once the, you can't let them win that battle. Uh, and so, uh, so I, I left and I left her to her breakfast. So I came back after a while and, and she wasn't, she hadn't moved and she hadn't eaten anything. So there's like an hour of this. And I'm thinking to myself, this is a three-year-old kid. That's like forever to a three-year-old kid, an hour of sitting still. So, so, uh, uh, so I, I thought, well, this is kind of interesting. I, the thing that, that kept going through my head was, what is she doing with her time? I'm in the other room, I don't know. And, and so she doesn't have any toys. So what is she doing that whole time? And so I decided I'm gonna find out. So I, I set up a camera, I put it on a tripod and I, I pointed it at her and, uh, and, I, and I left the room again. And uh, after a while, I thought, this, this is kind of funny. So I decided to, to add some kind of funny narration to it, which is what you're going to see now. You are about to witness a strong little child in action. The subject, a Miss Bryn Younger, three years Mama. old. At approximately 9.30 this morning, her father, yours truly, told her that she must eat her breakfast and that she would not leave the table until she finished her breakfast. Now, take into consideration, this is a breakfast that she eats all the time. It is half a banana and a bowl of cereal. For, for posterity reasons, I am now going to film the strong-willed child. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now 12 o'clock. The subject has been sitting there for two and a half hours, which in three-year-old time is about six years. The uh, subject now has the added variable of being hungry since she hasn't eaten breakfast. <clears throat> so she's getting a little bit irritable, but she remains steadfast. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now 12.30. The subject has been there for for three hours now. The uh, cereal, which has been soaking in milk since 9.30, is now the consistency of algae. And uh, the subject seems to be strengthening. It's now one o'clock, and the subject seems to be enjoying this. It's now two o'clock. The subject has been here for four and a half hours. The subject is um, feeling 
is exhibiting feelings of restlessness and loneliness and also suffering from some mild hallucinations. Um, but absolutely no remorse. It is 2.15 and the subject, and we've had a breakthrough, the subject has eaten part of her banana and a few spoonfuls of her cereal. I think we're on the road to recovery. She has done it after a nearly five hour standoff. The subject has finished her breakfast. So fast forward about 20 years and Bryn is getting married. Uh, and I'm making this one of these videos for her with uh, the still pictures and videos of, of her growing up. So I decided I'm going to make use of this thing. So I cut it down to about three minutes, exactly what you just saw. Uh, and I decided I'm going to play this at her wedding reception. And of course, she just loved me for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's never going to live this down. Because uh, even to this day, whenever she's stubborn about anything, her mother and I will say, just eat the banana, Bryn. Just eat the banana. So when you hear the Sandwich Initiative and you uh, hear David talking to the camera and saying these absurd things about this weird video, well, that all came from my daughter Bryn and a banana. You know, I, I don't really like bananas. You, you want to finish this? No, you're going to stay in that chair until it's finished, Marshall. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's a great story. And I love how real stories in the home inspire our Odyssey episodes. Now, if you want to hear more about this episode, or if you want to hear from Marshall's daughter, Bryn, about what she thinks about the infamous breakfast in the younger home, uh, there's a bonus feature on album 65 you need to check out. You can hear it now in the Adventures in Odyssey Club on CD or download. That's right. It's pretty obvious by now that we love stories at Adventures in Odyssey. Stories on the show itself, and also things that happen behind the scenes. Stories that inspire the episodes before the show is released. But we also love to share stories of how God is using the program, things that happen after the show is released. That's right. Last year, a woman named Stephanie wrote to Focus to share a story like that. And now we'd like to share her story with you. Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to Adventures in Odyssey. I definitely listened to Odyssey all the time as a kid, and I had two younger sisters and a younger brother, and since we didn't have TV at our house, we would like act out the episodes. You know, we'd each take on a character, and we'd put on shows and pretend to be the families, or that, you know, we really got into the characters, and that's what we did all the time, in one house. <laughs> in the one house. My parents divorced when I was two, so one house we had, there's no such thing as God. You don't have God, you don't talk about God, it's just, it's just not there. It was just totally two different worlds. As a kid, I always kind of picked the wrong friends. Especially in high school, um, I started skipping school all the time and experimenting with drugs and alcohol and I would just leave school and sometimes not come back and sometimes come back at drunk or just nobody really noticed. I went to a cosmetology school and quickly just found the same kind of girls, same kind of partiers and for me it was like, what drug tonight? What, you know, I didn't really care. Started stealing things to get alcohol. My head was always so full of just like, well, you're just not worth it. You're just, you know, just, you know, you'll never have what some people have. You'll never have that 
healthy relationship. There's no hope. There's nothing for me. There's, you know, nobody cares about me. Nobody knows what I'm doing. It's just like survival every day. In that same time frame, I had gone to work and I saw in the waiting room was this boy and he had a cross necklace on and he was holding this really big book and uh, called out a name and he's the, he came to my chair and I looked at his book and it was this Adventures in the Odyssey book. I had just like this burst of like memories of like, oh my goodness, like Adventures in the Odyssey, like I hadn't thought about that in years and years. I was asking him, I'm like, that's still going on? Are you kidding me? And, and we were just talking about the old episodes and just, I was laughing so hard. It was like this little bit of light. that It was like, wow, there's like that life. There's, there's that other life out there. There's, and that night I got into my car and my plans of course were just to go to this um, liquor store. But I was like, you know, I've seen this store. It's called the Christian Bookstore or something. And I was like, I'm just gonna go look. And I asked him like if they if they had Odyssey CDs. And um, they pointed me in the corner where there's like, all these Odysseys lined up, and I could like recognize the old old episodes and pictures. And I decided to get the newest one. Just listening to it, it was like I the feeling that I had of like oh. I am valuable, you know, I forgot, I made a lot of mistakes, um, I've done a lot of things, but God is there and he's all these little lessons and morals that I, I learned and scriptures from being a kid, it's like everything just kind of rushed right back and I went to my apartment and that was the first time I prayed in a really long time. You know, now putting my my sons to bed and them asking, you know, can you put on a new Odyssey tonight? And they don't go to bed without Odyssey and I'm so thankful that Matt and I just celebrated our seven year anniversary with um, with our three sons, Opie and Milo and Boone, who absolutely love Odyssey now, and I look forward to sharing Odyssey with our fourth son too. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what to say after that one. Wow is pretty much a good summary. And uh, well, since we're both pretty speechless, I think maybe this is the time to say that's all for this edition of the official Adventures in Odyssey podcast, a presentation to focus on the family. If you have a story to share of how God has used Odyssey in your life, we would love to hear it. That's right. You can share anything with us. Maybe you have a story that happened in your house like the one that Marshall shared, something that could inspire a future adventure. We just love hearing from our listeners. You can write to us at Focus on the Family, 8605 Explorer Drive, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80920. Or you can email us at questions at witsend.org. And of course, you can always call us at 1-800-AFAMILY. Yep. Visit us online at witsend.org slash podcast, or join the club at aioclub.org. That is a lot of ways to stay in touch. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm Bob. And I'm Jesse, reminding you that with God in your life, every day is an adventure. <laughs>